I'm sorry. How would I see your rigatoni? I, I sent a, a, a picture. Uh, there we go. Now I'm seeing myself in the panel, and I'm seeing you guys too. So I think we're ready to rock and roll here now. Um, just trying to. I'm noticing we had a few drop frames. I don't know what to say about that. We're trying to get back to Neverwinter, right? Well, it's one of the one of your options, definitely. Uh, no, but I think as a party, we agreed that that's that where on, we're going. Could that be on the way to um, Ice Fire Peak? I think we said we established that we were going to go to Neverwinter on the way to Ice Fire because there's just stuff we have to like. Oh, we were going to get armor and stuff before, um, like armor and weapons. Before yeah, Ice Fire. Yes, I know. It's Aspire? I hardly know her. <laughs> anyway. Wow. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny. Crowd today. It is. And I do apologize that I was late, guys. Like I said, I was dealing with a little bit of technical issues. You don't hear me talking about That's that. all right. Hey, Kenji, I will say this much. You, you are actually quite quiet. Um, having a little trouble I, here. Well, I'm you. also I'm also sat back in my chair right now. So. All right. Well, I'm going to do something I thought I'd never do. I'm going to turn your volume up. That's true. Never thought I'd do that, but yes. So you guys were okay. were catching up on where you where you had left off, and uh, actually where you guys were uh, when we last met. Uh, you guys were in your one of your favorite places of all time, which is the wonderful, charming Stonehill Inn, which is home to your best friend and ours, uh, the ever lovable, ever crusty Bart, the bartender. Uh, however, uh, you guys were, uh, uh, have you guys decided, have you actually taken your, your long rest? Has everybody had an opportunity to take a good snooze, uh. regenerate their, uh, their health points and everything else? Would not, I don't think so. Also, I don't see our icons up there either. Uh, I see you guys all are all way off the screen. I see you guys way up in the upper right hand corner. I see, I see everybody. Yep, I see you guys. I see everybody kind of in the upper left hand corner. So just scroll back a little bit and you should really? see everything else. I don't see any. I, I see us all in the Stonehill Inn right at the table. Yep, you're all sitting at the table. I don't see any of the tokens. I don't. I don't see either. <laughs> Maybe reload. Yeah, try reloading because uh. Because I just it opened it up. And do a if I don't know how you do it on a Mac, but if you do a Control F5 to do a complete refresh, uh, you should be good to go. That should completely bring you guys back in. And I'm going to be sipping water because I have an incredibly sore throat. As Nico knows, I spent most of last week talking my head off at work. And you get to do it again now. I do. It's so much more fun. Uh, doing it for you guys, although it was not completely unpleasant doing it for work, but this is certainly much more fun in my my opinion. But uh, yes, Gosh, I have to wait like another ten minutes for the screen to load. So if we decide to take a long rest, if Angelina could uh, control me for a bit, that'd be well. Great. I'm gonna make sure. Yeah. So are we I'm doing gonna... a long rest yeah. right now, or? Everybody had decided, at least the, to the best of my knowledge, okay, I'm everyone just gonna had do decided it. at the end of the last visit to take a long rest. Okay, so, so everybody take a long rest. Everybody yes. Take a long yes. Rest. Like, I'm, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> I already yes. did it. And the nice thing is, the only person I need to control this time is Druger, which is kind of nice. I really hey. like that. So, but uh, there are a few effects that need to be turned off because you guys are taking a long rest. <laughs> Uh, that does mean that certain effects will turn off for you guys. Uh, you will no longer uh, have aid running, which is unfortunate, but not the worst thing in the world to be having to deal with. So the effects of aid will be turned off. Link, there it goes. Uh, for you. Um, and I need to uh, roll for Ravina. You do indeed. There we go. So if you please roll a D100 for me. And you want to roll... Now, depending on what you roll, you rolled a 50, which means that there is no change. In you oh, today. gosh. You are staying as Ravina today. It, looking at the chart. If it's a 50, isn't there like a tiebreaker? 
nope sorry you uh <laughs> it's 60 i think you uh you as much as you would love to have i'm quite sure your more effective healer with you uh for the moment you do not have her i'm sorry to say take personal offense to that disappointment uh yeah <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Incidentally, if none of you guys got to see uh, Critical Role on Prime, uh, definitely not for the under-18 set, so you know, make sure your parents know you're watching it so I don't get a phone call. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, you can watch whatever the hell she wants. But, uh, but uh, I, I, it was, uh, it was someday hilarious. Someday i actually watch the, the game, so I know, and I know that there's spoilers. Well, uh, if you're watching also, the current season, Tiberius it's very different. It's probably my favorite character. I know that he leaves and there's a whole scandal, but... Yes. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you or anybody might be... Because uh, we do get a lot of people watching our, 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 our Twitch, although the last couple of weeks we haven't because we've had major, major problems with our session recordings and hopefully this will not be the case today. Uh, we have dropped some frames, but hopefully not too many. And uh, we do have one person viewing us. I don't know which one of you guys is viewing us on Twitch, but um, or maybe we have somebody else viewing us. I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, because we don't have all the really cool tools, I can't see who's actually watching us. I really wish I could. But whoever, if there is somebody watching who's not watching the game, who's not a member of the game, thank you for watching us. We'll do our best to entertain you and to uh, not make you wonder just what drugs we're taking and in what quantities. Uh, so. Uh, so, yeah. you guys, you yeah. guys, obviously you covered Anyways. your, you covered your, uh, the recap without me. Uh, thank you very much for doing so. Saved us 15 minutes. We probably right about where we would normally be starting. So uh, I've adjusted everyone's hit points to make sure that they are reflective of, uh, the correct amount for people in your situation and your original hit, hit point numbers. Uh, you're hearing the usual banter going about inside of the Stonehill Inn. Bart is busy at the counter mixing up porridge, making uh, breakfast ale for people. Uh, you see him crushing cinnamon into large vats of heated wine on the on the small brazier behind and behind the bar. And uh, Molly uh, is not to be seen, who would typically be running around about this time. You'd normally see her. But uh, in lieu of recent revelations about her potential importance to the, to the region, uh, she's keeping a much lower profile exactly where in the house you're not exactly sure but you don't see her running around in between the tables like she normally does this is keeping Bart exceptionally busy and uh, you notice that he's a little bit more frantic than usual sorry I was taking a good long sip of water there so as you guys are sitting around uh, listening to the morning music and so forth, you do notice that uh, your old buddy, uh, the half-elf that had helped you earlier on, has uh, in fact returned into the room. He looks a little disheveled, like he probably had a very rough go of it not too long ago as a matter of fact. Uh, you notice that he looks very, very tired and almost as if he may have not actually gotten any sleep the night before. Uh, he runs up to you guys. Uh, well, not runs up, kind of walks up to the table and sits himself down right over here. Whoops, that's the wrong icon. There we go. And sits himself down at the table next to you guys. And... Uh, Waves over to Bart, nors himself a breakfast ale, to which Bart comes running over and drops it down sloppily on the table. You see the the old half-elf kind of take a big deep sigh as he kicks back and pretty much drains the entire flagon into his mouth at one time. He says, well, uh, we went up to, went uh, up. to the, the top of... Uh, the top of the local mountains here where you guys had said you would run into that slave camp and uh it was still there there were these strange hybrid creatures there we'd never seen before these 
odd abominations. I don't quite know how to describe them. Have you guys seen these things before? They look like they're some sort of mix of dragon and, and other kinds of creatures. Have you guys seen these things? I yes, we have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have. Well, they're tough as nails, I'll tell you. We had brought a patrol up with us from Neverwinter. The, uh, the local garrisons had sent up 10 men for us to go and try and free the prisoners in that camp. We lost six of them in the battle, but uh, we managed to take it. By the way, is somebody listening to the Twitch stream? It's, um, it's Kenji picking up you and then echoing it back. Okay, God, Kenji. hold on. Let me turn it. Let me turn my. Let me turn it down then, because I was checking to see if the sensitivity was working. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me just turn my sensitivity even further down. Thanks. Okay. Appreciate it. I think uh, you can just mute yourself when you're not talking. Uh, yeah. Or use click to talk. Either or. <laughs> Uh, that's what that's what I do when I'm not DMing. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still hearing myself. Uh, we managed to go and and free them, and um, most of them now are oh, over no. on their way back over to Neverwinter. They were carried off in a in a in a litter. They're going to be taking over the houses of healing. They're in really really rough shape. Exposure, malnutrition. Clearly, have been receiving beatings. And they were just babbling. They were terrified, just beside themselves with fear, telling stories about tendrils of, of energy coming up from the holes sometimes and just grabbing both guards and prisoners alike and dragging them underground and never to be heard from again, only to hear screaming coming from under the ground. It's really sad, but we also learned from some of them that they weren't the only ones that it seems that the dragon cult has been collecting people from all the cities around here. Uh, not just Fandolin, but Neverwinter, Waterdeep, all the major cities. Anybody who seems to be getting in their way suddenly disappears. And the next thing they know, they find themselves either in the mines or being sold to the slave trade or something else, something darker. No one's exactly sure. All they know is that the guards would sort of, sort of look at each other and start chuckling anytime someone was being sent to, quote-unquote, the other place. Whatever it is, if it's worse than that slave camp, I don't want to think about it. He takes another big swig of the flagon. Look, they know about what's going on up at Neverwinter, but it's not as easy, it's not as clear as it seems. Harbin has managed to completely confuse the situation. It seems that half the local dignitaries up there think that you guys are behind all of this. And the other half, well, they think it has something to do with the dragon cult. But whatever's going on, it's big. Really, really big. And I can't even, I don't even want to think about what the origins of all of this are takes a big gulp again this is the reason why i got out of adventuring years ago and just thought i'd settle down and start a farm this kind of stuff's way above me so what are you guys going to be doing well, we first... were well, go ahead no go ahead no you you probably have a better response. Go. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say, um, to explain where we've been and where the mayor is and hand over all the documents to the half-elf so that the town can take care of Mayor Wester. Oh, that's right. We, we, we had to show Damien the documents, too. Maybe this elf can also help us see if, they can, if he can decipher the language that that... Right, the we also have was written of a mystery on our hands, and that will determine where we go next, probably. <laughs> yep. So, Damien, they, they show you these scrolls where there's this odd calligraphy, and you see the seal of the dragon cult up in the upper right-hand corner of all this. And for you, you, you sort of sit there looking at it for a while, and you're 
fairly certain you've seen this kind of information before. You've seen these kind of this kind of calligraphy, and it's it belongs to a uh, a faction of wizards called the Red Brotherhood or something along those lines. You're trying to place it in your mind. You don't know a lot about it. You can't speak it personally, but you recognize the iconography. It's quite distinctive. It's very angular and looks almost like, well, it looks almost like uh, it was. it's chiseled out of stone, even though it's, it's clearly written with a pen you know a pen a pen and quill type of kind of situation and you know that if you're seeing something along those lines it's really never a good thing to see that that's what's going on because the cult of the dragon you had known about and it was part of the reason why you were sent forth by your brotherhood was to go out and find out what was going on with the cultists it's the whole reason why you ended up meeting up with the with the uh, uh, with the the gatewalkers, but the red wizards, the the red brotherhood, they're sometimes called the red wizards of Thay. They're really not something that you would like to know is actually involved. It is if it is them, and this is an an indication that they're involved then this is even, you know that this means it's even worse than what everyone thinks. This has got far-reaching implications that could really complicate matters for you because the Red Brotherhood is linked to everyone and everything. They make the Mafia look like, look like school kids, look like Boy Scouts. So are the Arcane Brotherhood and the Red Wizards the same people? I'm confused. The Arcane Brotherhood is closely aligned okay. with them. They are essentially just factions within the same house. Uh, so so different, they're like sex, yeah. Yeah, different sex, but all kind of under the same. It's like what you know. It's like the difference between you know the Church of England versus the Protestant Church versus you mm -hmm. know they, they're all, but they all kind of roll up you know to westminster cathedral same kind of concept so there is a governing body over all of those sects and that group is the arcane brotherhood okay Well, so what does this mean still... for our plans? We still think... need to get to Ragnarok at some point to help the Afworks. Um, what does the town think? Can we convince them to help the the Afworks after we made such a display of taking down the mayor? The uh, yeah. So Darren looks over the paperwork with you going, I, I can't make this out, but it's pretty clear that there's obviously something going on with all of these. I mean, it's you can make out that there's obviously goods being moved, but we can't really use this to go and pin anything on Harbin Wester, but the book you've got over here with all the deeds where he's been essentially forging his family names on top of all the deeds and mineral claims and mining claims. Uh, something tells me this is probably enough to put him away for a while. And the interesting thing about fat politicians, once they know they're going to jail, they tend to sing like canaries. Then he'll talk more about what this, uh, language is about yeah i wonder he starts to rub his chin a little bit and kind of looks sideways harbin doesn't strike me as being smart enough to speak more than one language i mean let's face it double the only other thing he knows besides the common tongue is double speak
Well, maybe he can't read it, but maybe he knows what the document is really about. Well, didn't we find it in one of the uh, drawers in, in his desk that he yeah. either didn't know was there or didn't open? And it was probably belonged to Glass Staff. Um, so maybe he doesn't know anything about it? Question. I mean... Hmm. Yeah. You, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, this you found in his desk? The, what was... about the deeds? Where'd you find those? That was in the records room, right? Okay, so he knew about this at least. Yeah, this, that I think is definitely his because it's his own name written in it. Got it. But these other things that you can't make head nor tail out of, these were hidden in his desk? I'm not sure I follow. Um, I don't know. I, wasn't I, mean, those, I don't think are really... I don't think we're trying to use those to connect something to uh, Harbin, but they are just additional pieces of... This is... Something's up here. I, I thought it was important because didn't Dam Damien just say that it has something to do with a, a group of wizards? I feel like it might be important. No, but, no, but the thing is, uh, I think we learned from Harbin that he got the desk from... Insert name of the manor that I can't Dressendor. remember right now. Dressender Manor? Dressender Manor. As you guys are saying oh. it, uh, Darren goes, oh yeah. Oh yeah, he did. I remember he made a bunch of us carry a, a ton of stuff from the manor down to his office. None of us expected to find anything that nice left over in that wreck of a building. But all of a sudden there's this really, you know, beautifully ornate furniture, uh, silk and robes. Suddenly they get quote unquote found inside of the manor. Yeah. Now I see what's going on. Seems like what our, is going on? Well, it looks like our Harbin Wester was clearly just taking kickbacks and payoff money from whoever it was was running this. Glassstaff, Yarno, whatever you want to call him, the guy is dirty, and he apparently was using using Weston, Wester, sorry, as his puppet. Yeah. That's probably why he let the Red Brands take over the town. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow, that guy was a real piece of work. Tell you what, he rolls up the documents, he gives you, he holds on to one of the rolls with one of the seals on it, gives the other ones back to you, and then he takes the, the book with all the forged titles in it. Tell you what we'll do. I'll make sure that we hold a trial for him. Make sure he gets hell he gets exactly what's coming to him. But you guys you guys gotta go. There's so much going on around here. I don't even know where to begin to point you. I don't know where to send you. Cause quite frankly, it's a mess everywhere. We've got Bandits running all over the place with these crazy half creatures that are scaring the hell out of everybody. We've got people taking prisoners and selling them off as ships. And God only knows what's going on up an ice spire peak. But it, pick a place. In the meantime, don't you worry about Wester. And he starts to smile and he winks at you. I think we can take care of him. He throws a coin down on the table. Don't worry, guys. Breakfast is on me. You guys earned it. Walks over, shakes Bart's hand, whispers something to him. They kind of chuckle a little bit, and he walks out the door towards, uh, towards parts unknown. I call Bart over to our table. All right. Yeah, what can I do for you good folks this morning? I, I asked Bart about 
<clears throat> you know, the the whole child of destiny prophecy and this this Ragnarok place and what he thinks would be best for for Molly. Well, I promised Molly's mom I'd make sure that she stayed safe, so I'd like to keep her here with me and make sure she's uh, she's uh, not going to get herself into anything she can't handle. But I'll tell you, if you guys are looking to make the Ragnarok, there's several of those uh, those henges around here, but Ragnarok's a special one. It's deep in the forest. You follow the main river going north. And as you get down to about, oh, I'd say about a day's walk into the forest, you'll see a small hill. And on that hill is where that hinge is. All you got to do is keep the hunter's star directly in front of you as you're going forward. You do that, and it'll be directly underneath you as you go walking through the forest. But challenge is, once you get into those woods, real easy to lose your way. So to kind of give you guys a corollary, the uh, the Hunter's Star is sort of the North Star. Real similar kind of concept. So if you guys can keep the Hunter's Star, which is actually, he kind of points out which star, star constellation it is, and you guys kind of recognize it in your own vernacular. It's the Hunter's Star to the Half Orcs. And you kind of have a sense based on his description of roughly where it would be. It's oddly not terribly far from where Kragma would be. The castle. So, so what? Does, sorry, go ahead. I'm, did we just lose? Hello? hello. We just lost somebody, I think. I think so. so. Okay, I heard someone go. Go ahead, Elrin. I was going to say, so what is, like, our course of action? Like, what do we need to hit? What can we get along the way? And, like, what is, like, our overarching goal right now? Because I feel like that we, like, end up with a lot of loose ends when we do these, like, like not side projects, but, like, you know, yeah. it just got different I multiple project. objectives. Right. Overarching yeah. to, to get the dragons out of the area. <clears throat> right. The well, yes, yes. <laughs> that well, yes, you know. <laughs> I meant more but, like uh, like what should what that, do we need to yeah. It might be worth going to Neverwinter with Ragnarok on the way. For Ragnarok, we would need, you know, probably help. Help from the townspeople, maybe help from Heyman Cost or someone else, but help to help the half orcs. We're not an army. What specifically do they need there? Well, I thought they were fighting off dragons there. Mm. The dragon hordes, the half dragon, half monster creatures. Yeah, it's oh. true. We are not an army. I wonder if there's some sort of. Who was that wizard that we met? At, Heyman, um, Heyman cost. Yeah, the one. the little weird one. Well, there was. Well, there's a couple of them, and I, you mentioned it last. There's we've when it comes to weird wizards, that's pretty much all of them, as far as I'm concerned. We've got the <laughs> one that we saw over where there was all the dead guys. He's over with the good cheese, if you remember. He was a nice guy, but, uh, you know, hangs out with a very strange bunch. That was Oman Kost. He was over there where there's where there's the temple, you know, the old owl well. And, but then there was the crazy bastard who kept turning himself into a squirrel. And that was the one out by Thunder Tree. I mean, maybe we, like, reach out to those wizards. I don't know. What can... Because, um... Last staff's the wizard. I feel like no one is better equipped to fight a wizard than a wizard. True. Except maybe an assassin. But we don't have one of sure. those either. I like the idea of rounding up as many townspeople as we can get, but I really don't think 
any of them are going to, I don't think any of them are also like very equipped to fight what we're about to head into. Which is why. Does the half elf know anybody possibly? Well, he's, he's gone. He's already gone, but Bart's there. That's right. Never mind. <laughs> yes, Bart, you. Uh, what are you? You want someone to go with you? Someone who's strong enough to fight dragons and wizards and half dragons and. Preferably multiple, not just one. Well, I don't <laughs> know what to do to help you there, little lady. I mean, after all, we're mostly a town of farmers and miners. We really yeah, don't look at really them too much these days. Yeah, I think they'll. I think they'll read as a toy gun militia more than anything. <laughs> so I don't know how much the townspeople can help us. Yeah, I say, I Go say ahead. we try to find we retrace everything and try to get those wizards to help us. Because, like, as much as like half of them are in retirement, like, I really think that, like, like I said, I keep saying it during this game. And I feel like people don't even realize it. Like the fate of the cosmos. <laughs> like <laughs> I feel like they'd be willing to fight that fight. How do you guys feel about that? Because otherwise, I don't know. I because we certainly can't do it alone. Yeah, I agree. Actually, I think that's the best bet here. Because like, there's there's already half orcs up there fighting, right? So. And, you know, we met a band of them, and they seemed reasonably, well, um, capable. That's true. But they said that they needed help, so maybe that means it's not enough. Yeah, I mean, there's us, of course. Like... I don't know. I think the wizards are the best option, but that's just my opinion. What does the paladin think? What does Damien think? Let's get uh, some let's get some devil and devil and angel on our shoulders. <laughs> I mean uh, the thing is Damien? I've always uh, as much as I would love to be like like going wild and stuff, I feel like the safest bet. I feel like we should go with the fa safest choice, the least casualties. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, but what? Which one is that? I think. Do you think we should just meet up with the half orcs on our own, or should we try and convince some wizards to come with us? Those are the two options. Oh, well, here's my next question: what, What's the relationship between wizards and orcs like? I don't think it matters. Is the thing is. What I was yeah, kind well, of okay. well, I mean, it, well, if it right, doesn't right, matter, right. then I guess it does. I guess, I mean, I mean, I personally would show up with wizards. I feel like showing up with wizards is probably a safer bet just because, you know, if the orcs do decide to suddenly turn against us, I feel like. No, they won't turn against us. I don't think that's the possibility. It's yeah. just a matter of like, like trying to have as, man as much manpower as we can. What does what does the paladin think? I'm always in favor of protecting people, but uh, I would think Haman Cost might be really handy if he would be convinced to help us. I just don't yeah. know if we have time to make a diversion over to Old oh. Owlwell and then yeah. take all of his undead with us. But it would certainly come in handy. Are there like what? no wizards like that are near us at all, or like even on the way? I don't think so. Other than the, it's like I don't think she was a woman. There was a woman in the in the temple, but I don't think that's even standing anymore, if I remember correctly. There was the woman we saved from the Manticore, but I don't think she's going to be much help against dragons. I, um, I, are we bringing Molly with us? Because like she apparently is important to them. I don't know. I don't think Bart's going to let us. And do we really want to go through that again? I think we should honor what Bart wants to do. It's it's Bart's daughter or guardian. <laughs> 
Okay, then maybe we should just head over to Ragnarok and then over to Neverwinter. Yeah, we could just trek on and just. just yeah, I think we, we're going to be here all day if we're going to talk about like anything we can do. Yeah, like the more time we spend wasting here, you know, the more half orcs are going to die, the more the situation's going to get worse in um, Ice Fire Peak. All right, let's just, you know what, let's just, let's saddle up. Let's go. <laughs> let's go to Ragnarok. Rag Ragnarok. Nope, that's that's Thor. Rag Ragnarok. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, remember that Ragnarok would be a major league violation of copyright, so it is not Ragnarok, just so everyone's sure. How can you copyright Ragnarok? Ragnarok was... How do you copyright Norse mythology? How do you copyright that? You know, Disney has done Stranger Things, so... That is very true. Very true indeed. So, uh, with that being said, uh, what were you guys? So, the I believe the the general consensus is you guys are going to head off. It is early morning, so if you got you guys are going to head off, heading north towards the forest to try and find your way into uh, uh, and connect with uh, the Ragnarok uh, Henge. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so. Uh, what are you are you guys gonna do anything in town before you go or is it just are you guys gonna head No, I think we've go? established that there's nothing here we can do, right? Yeah, we're just gonna go. Uh whoops. That's not we, where you are. We do now own Tresendor Manor, at least we have the rights to it. Yes, you guys we, do have, have the, the rights deed. to it. Anybody so, wanna stop by there and see what's left? We do. I thought we didn't get that. You guys, you guys, I didn't think don't you think guys had actually it. bought it. I think you guys had the rights to it, but I don't think you guys actually took the time to actually purchase it. Because we said that we were like, we're nomadic, so we don't really need a place for ourselves. So, uh, as you guys come out, the if you were following the North Star, it would pretty much lead you to enter into the forest right about here. And then you would start making your way into um, into the forest. So uh, you guys would proceed north onto the Tybor Trail, and then uh, head uh, for probably the better part of the day along the Tybor, heading east. And uh, you would probably be penetrating the forest right around this area here. And uh, that part of the trail, is, you would get to right around uh, the end of the evening by the time you got to about that part there, because it is a pr pretty decent uh, trek. But fortunately, it is you are taking advantage of it being a trail. So there's uh, some advantages there from that perspective. Uh, so that being the case... Uh, you guys uh, get involved. Are, are you going to call your trusty owl to you, sir? I'm assuming yes. that you are. I'll there bring the owl out of uh, his dimension. There there, your owl has appeared, and he is now glowing with celestial energy in front of you. Uh, you keep him at the edge of your uh, of your of your transmission distance in front of you as you guys proceed along the trail. Uh, and as you're moving along, uh, as you get about, oh, right around to about this area here, as you start getting over towards the foothills, you hear off in the distance, you can hear uh, the echoes of, uh, of a dragon howling up in the mountaintops. And it kind of sends a quick chill down your spine, but it's pretty clear that where that is is a fairly significant distance from where you presently are. Uh, as you guys get to about your midday and you go to set up camp, uh, the owl picks up in the foothills over in here what looks like there might be some movement heading down uh, towards you guys uh, coming down out of the mountains. Well, I let the party Mo know. Yeah, movement how? Well, what kind? 
there's dust and occasionally uh some what looks like movement maybe the tops of heads or something coming down from the mountain location in your general direction can we tell the difference between undead movement and say you know dray orc movement or uh with respect to he's having a hard time getting a view on it because there is cover uh, there's, you know, there's some hill, there's some uh, brush, there's small trees, there's just enough to obscure, but there appear to be several bodies heading down. They're moving a little too quickly uh, from what you can see for it to be, um, for it to be uh, undead because they tend to lumber. Uh, yeah. And, can we the, set up an ambush? Well, you're, you in a, you're on a prairie. There's not a lot where you guys are. It's an open trail where you are. Everything okay? Maybe if we go over to the side and make use of the tree cover, like okay. set set something out to attract their attention, and then all you know take positions up in the the woods. All right. And when they come to inspect, of course they could be half orcs too, which we'll have to take a good look at them before we uh, do all anything right. drastic and violent. Yeah, <laughs> and I say. Think... Whatever we do with the most, the if we could like stay undercover, not under, not undercover, like but like under some sort of, if we could do it within a forest or something like that, yeah. so that Behind so cover, that yeah. we're not seen from above. Yeah. All right. So uh, on the same page. Me... Uh, yep. I don't think we're in. <laughs> uh, you will be in a minute. So let me okay. just let me just. Uh... Get you guys in here. There you are. So you guys are here. Let me and you guys uh, decide to go and pull off into the bushes so that you guys are not in any position where you're going to be easily spotted. Um, so Ruger, your owl's kind of like trying to look up ahead for you, and he's looking up into uh, into the area where he can penetrate. So he gets into an area of woods here where you know from where you guys are. Uh, it's a little bit harder to see, but you have pretty good visibility to it. And he does see what looks to be a, a, a relatively large group, and it's some of your old friends uh, that you see coming along here. So let me uh, kind of tell you what you see. Uh, you Wait, see these are friendlies? Uh, no, what I mean by old friends, and I'm speaking euph euphemistically. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you see uh, a number of these characters coming in. And let me make sure I get them all set up for you. And need to get these guys in here for you. I'm what not you seeing the party, all the party is. Yep. Are they you're behind some of these? Well, you're not seeing all of it because you know your 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 bird is up here in the top of the tree. Oh, no, no, I'm thinking of our party. Oh, I see yeah. Damien and Elrin. Oh, okay. We're stacked. You, we're stacked. Yeah, you're okay. stacked. I'm sorry. Let me move you guys around. Wait, is Trigger with us? Oh yeah, there we are. Yeah. So Ravina was just hovering over Elrin. Got it. Yep. Fatty. I, I'm not fat. I'm big boned. <laughs> All right. So, uh, what your um, what your owl sees is he sees this kind of lizard-like creature in the front, kind of sniffing around like a hound. It disappears, and then it suddenly reappears up out of the ground again. And then it disappears and it goes back down into the ground again. It seems what was be, it? It was this kind of bluish lizard-like creature. You've seen it before. It's one of those drakes. And behind, uh. close behind, you see these guys coming in right here. And they're sort of hopping up and kind of spying ahead. For the for the group that you see, kind of working their way through the forest down below, and they, 
it's clear that they think they're being sneaky. What they so haven't I... noticed is that your bird has gotten the drop on them. Okay. So I let the party yeah. know where they are. Um, maybe, maybe we, we can need... kind of disperse and ambush them back. Ambush them before they can ambush us. Maybe. Maybe we should try to attract their attention to something in the clearing. Or someone. All right. Well, they're clearly coming in. They'll be there. They'll probably be to the edge of the trees in this area. You know, clearly trying to establish their own sense of trying to set up some sort of an ambush on the trail. They'll be there in the next couple of seconds. Uh, but you guys are already in position over here on this side of the of the of the trail itself. So they don't see you yet, but you notice that uh, the the wolves have sort of stopped in this location. And you see them sniffing the air aggressively. And as they start to sniff, you see these guys start to form into a line. And it's clear they're trying to set up some position here. You see them kind of moving around and kind of choosing more optimal positions. Uh, I wouldn't do that. What about a, uh, uh, like a thunder wave attack? Can you, could you do like an area effect attack over there? I could use the scroll, yeah. And don't you have the circlet? The Where circlet, not the scroll. Sorry, it's the circlet. That's what I meant. Sure can. Uh, not, I think we'd have to sure. start. I don't, I don't think we want to rush them out in the open, but maybe surprising them will force some of them to like come out into the open so we can attack. That's true. It will it will also confuse the hell out of them because it is a ranged attack. Yeah, I'll do that. I, I'll do that. Uh, DM, that's going to start combat. Do I need to do that first? So if we're going to start combat, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, there we let's, go. let's uh, roll for initiative. Oh, we have two of your Mr. Yep. Owls out here. That's not good. Got to get rid of one of them. All right. Let's oh, get everybody. I like them. I, I like Mr. Owl, too. Yeah, I think I may start combat with my heavy crossbow. All time. right, let's. Mr. Uh, Owl, how many uh, licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> let's find out. Uh, one, one two, a two, a three, three, three. three. Yep. All right, Classic. so uh, let's uh, get these. Telling me to roll for like it's got my icon next to Cauldron. The Cauldron already rolled. Is it just my name is? Mis misnamed. I uh, I, think I so. already rolled. You mean uh no? Yeah, you just you just. I just have a new name for this combat. All right. <laughs> Why do you? I'm on the, I I'm on the cauldron team. I do not. We're, we're, I okay. Let's fix that. <laughs> we'll just call that's, ourselves. That's you know, gonna be. That's gonna be. It's kind of like the local team, the cauldrons. Uh, Go cauldrons! Go cauldrons! Uh, go to work fine. It's just for some reason we're having that same issue. Where... I don't understand. Okay, but here's the one thing: I actually did find that it, it this time your name was actually changed, so I was able to go in and actually fix it this time. So there's the good news. But yeah, that was only mildly confusing. <laughs> wow. Uh, it was yeah. Wow. Wait. So even though Ruger has the first roll. Um, can I go first? Because, you know, combat has not technically started. That's yeah, correct. I'll just spend my crossbow shot until after he goes. By the way, Ravina and uh, Damien, would you please be so kind as to uh, actually um, please uh, roll your initiative? Damien did. Thought I did. Hold on. Nope. No, Damien yeah, did. did. He did now. Oh. Uh, not the best role I've seen Damien do, but he has done so. Uh, and the so what um, 
Ruger is kind of communicating to you through what he is seeing with his owl is he's letting you know that they are getting closer and closer to uh, the edge of the road and it's clear that they're trying to set up an ambush themselves and they start to get really nestled deep into those bushes there and even the owl is starting to have a hard time seeing them uh, because of the fact that they do have such good uh, cover now with where they are kind of nestled into those the thick vegetation on the side of the road but uh, being directly above them he does have a uh, and Fortunately for your owl, they have not, with my rolls, they have not perceived him. They have not spotted uh, Mr. Owl uh, hiding up in the trees or flying around above them. So that's good news, uh, at least for you. But we find ourselves now in the moment where we may find our... Why does he say level 5 prototype? That is just so strange. Uh, but it's fine. Uh, it's a family name. It is a family name. It uh, it, it it really caught on uh, back at the uh, the military academy. Uh, but there you are. So there you guys are. You so want to go that... get your your first shot in with the with the thunder wave, correct? Well, yes. The owl goes before Elrin, so I'm going to have the owl take off from the tree far up ahead, so that the thunder wave doesn't catch the owl in it. Oh, he's with his altitude. You got to remember, it's a dome, and he's easily eighty feet in the air because that is a oh, okay. big tree he's in. So if she hits in the ground, unless she has like a critical miss and hits up into the tree, uh, he, she, your owl's pretty safe. Okay, and then he's going to come around behind and and attack them to try and flush them forward into the clearing. Okay, so uh, but, but we're going to suspend our actions till after Elrin and got other it. people go. Okay. Okay. How do I do? I just roll it from inside of my inventory list, or do I? Uh, you cast should it actually have the. You should actually have the spell available to you in your spell book for that for that device. It should be listed in there, I believe. I have if not the thunder if, wave. Okay, there we go. We're the circlet is right there. I see it. Right. Um. So. Uh, you have to target them first, so pick a target. Oh, okay, got it. Cool. So I can just use the 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 right mobile. I just target everyone. Correct. Great. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. I think that's all of them. Oh, there's also that guy. That's all I can see. So I'm just gonna go with that. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole, and here we go. Starting a little music for us. Measured template. Uh, place the balls getting hit. The does have a minimum foot space. the circumference thought i was going to say uh, that was your thunder Because that's way up. Bro, these will be very on the far left side. Throw of Constitution, sorry, and it is, has to be a 14 saving throw with disadvantage, and he makes a f only a five, so he will be hit. By the way, one of his rolls was actually a natural 20. What a waste! What a waste! <laughs> so he is going to take 
the DC. He's going to take eight points of damage, which drops him down significantly. Now, I do believe that this will also be pushed 10 feet away. So that character gets pushed back one, two squares. The character next to him, the Orc Bolt leader, will also try to make a DC uh, saving throw against his constitution with disadvantage. And he manages to make his saving throw, so nothing happens to him. The wolf that is in the blast radius. Did you manage to put everybody into that blast radius? I'm just trying to see here. I sure did. At oh. least the one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I don't know if there's more, but those are the All six right. I got in there. Uh, the wolf took a major blow. He also rolled a, a perfect one, uh, a perfect 20, but unfortunately he gets slammed up against this rock. And in the act of being slammed up against that rock, you hear a loud yelp and a crunching of bone as he slams into the rock and is immediately crushed. And his skull smashes against the stone, ending his poor, miserable existence. The orc bolt that's immediately behind him manages to make his saving throw and does not get impacted by this at all. That wolf also serious shot and gets right he but he because uh or the right sorry being slammed into the rock box actually kill him. I uh, sorry. Uh, I don't I do. my cursor is not working yet you need to go back off of uh the template template draw put it back on the icon of the face all right uh he does not the cult fanatic does not manage to uh make his saving throw and gets thrown back 10 feet oops let me tr try that again Gets slammed back, which means he is going to now hit the rock behind him, which will uh, means he's going to take a slamming damage, which will be another d6, probably a d8. Oops. Let's try that again. And you guys had the... The gall to call me the useful cleric. <laughs> um, Eat your words, Ruger. <laughs> All right. All right. Five points. You know, clerics are renowned for their humility. Uh, not this one. <laughs> Just not this one. <laughs> not this one at all. Not at all. All right. So the uh, the the cultist in the white, white robes is thrown back. These two in the back here are not targeted. They're just outside of the zone. But this last guy here, let's see if he gets smacked. And he does indeed. He takes eight points of damage and gets thrown back ten feet, which pushes him back here as well. So uh, the jig is up with respect to the combat. They now know that they're being attacked, but the, you guys on your side still have surprise because of your ambush. Uh, so if you can see it, you can shoot it. So guys, uh, let's go back into our order of attack and let's figure out who is doing what. All right. So Wait, real start... quickly, DM, real yes. quick. You said that the wolf died, right? The, one of the wolves is dead, yes. Slammed against the rock, get... you heard a loud howl and a crunch, and it's dead. Can we get a skull on it so we know which one it is? It's got a skull on it, dear. Oh, not... Not... Okay. 
Yeah, it's just that I don't online. think you I don't think you can see him right now. I think he may be just out there's one that's still alive. And one that's gotcha. dead. All right. Okay. Druger has uh first first action here, so he's gonna charge out two, three, four, five, six. All righty. So that is the end of his turn, because that's as far as he can go. Ruger, it is your turn, sir. <clears throat> um, yeah, I thought the goal was to flush them out into the clearing, but... Oh, well, they, okay. they got smacked backwards. <laughs> and apparently, apparently, Ruger wasn't paying attention. Because <laughs> now he's like, ah! you know, he, he's your version of Grog. Okay. All righty. How come we can't? They they kind of appear and then disappear. Like I can't tell whether I'm supposed to be able to see them or not. Oh, it's probably has to do with your line of sight because there is a lot of cover and it may be covering you over. Now, if you switch over okay. to your, uh, if your Owl can see it, you can see it. So if he can't see it and there's someone you wanted to attack uh, with the visibility you have as the owl, just let me know and I'll make sure you, you get to target him. Okay? Uh, yeah, I'd like to target the uh, the Dreyok. This guy here? Yeah. Awesome. And I'll, I'll shoot my crossbow his way. All right. Go ahead and let's do that. Let me do the tar the attack. Okay. Your heavy crossbow? Yes. Okay, go ahead and shoot. You have advantage. Make sure you choose advantage. There you go. And you do, in fact, hit. Roll your damage, please, sir. Ooh, very solid shot. You see the arrow disappear into the upper right-hand shoulder of the Dreyok as it shrieks out and the quarrel buries itself deep into his chest. You still have... Uh, I think you have a second attack? I keep I keep forgetting. You. Oh, that's right. I do have two attacks. Yeah, you are... So, you, same, you same guy. Attack. Okay. Second shot. All righty. Remember to roll with, with advantage. Oh, solid shot. Hits the unknown creature, which is the white Dreyok. Again, another quarrel disappears into its chest, and you hit him for three points of damage. I don't know if you saw the little minus three point pull up over his face this time. Hopefully you guys saw that cool little feature I added in this week. So hopefully you guys noticed. I think I'm going to... Switch to my swords so I get my defensive bonus in case they come up. There's something I'm seeing that looks like a magical effect, but I'm assuming that's one of the spellcasters. Um, oh, you mean uh, right over here, right? Yeah. Right here? Yes, that's something that is okay. specifically for him. Is it the owl's turn yet or someone else? It would be uh, it would would normally be one of these guys, but they all don't get a attack. You know, it is the it is the owl's turn. Oh, excellent! So again, I'm gonna find the same individual, the one that you uh, the same Dreyok? Yes, sir. Yeah, and let loose with a. Does, does he have a color to him? He appears like, to be in white. A white Dreyok. Yes, he has slightly whitish scales. They appear to be grayish pale. Uh, I think I'll just go with the Firebolt then. Remember to attack with uh, advantage, if because I believe this is an, a, an attack spell. Or is it automatic? It's Yeah, this is an attack spell. So please uh, roll your attack. With advantage, and unfortunately, you missed as the bolt 
glances off one of the branches just before it strikes the Drayok and spins off harmlessly uh, off uh, from where it was originally intended. Uh, then he's going to use the rest of his movement to hide back up in the tree. Okie dokie. Go ahead and move him back up in the tree. I believe he has 60 feet of movement, right? Or 30 feet of movement if he's... 30. 30, 30 yeah. Okay, yeah, because he's not attacking. Because he because he was attacking, sorry. All it's right. really not letting me move through the tree very well. Yep, so I'll, how much more That's movement okay. did you have left? Uh, I think I had like 20 feet. All right, so we'll move you up here. And we'll move you back up to the top to the top height of the tree. All right, so now, and just so you know what that is, let me go and put that in there for you so you know what your height is. You Sounds are... Good. Where is your... There's a way for me to do that. I, there's a way for me to set your elevation, I think. Uh, not in this view. Oh, there we are. Yes, you are at 80 feet. All right, so I don't know if you can see that when you click on him, but when you right mouse click on him now, you should see 80 feet. There yep. we are. Got it. There we are. Thank you. Yep. All right, so that just helps you understand where he is relative to distance from where the Drayok is. Cool. All right. So the owl swoops down, fires, hits a, hits a branch, doesn't hit the Drayok, and Elrin, uh, you already had taken your action for this turn because you had fired off your spell from the, the circlet. He does not have any movement. He does not do anything. Ravina! Our favorite tiefling demoness. What would you like okay, to do? Okay, so how many steps can I? How how far can I go without counting as? Uh, you what, go, five you can go six squares. Six squares, which is five feet per square. You can move up to five to that full distance of six squares before you would have to give up being able to cast something. Okay, so can I get past Druger and then do anything? Like well, I think most of your I think most of your spells actually, depending on the spell, you may be able to fire it from where you are. Yeah, but I just like in case I like miss, I don't want to. Oh get well, then you could take a couple of steps over to the right, or your in your case the left. Okay, well, or out in the open. Might, Either one works. You might want to stay behind cover. Okay. So if you move to like right here, you'd still be in cover, and uh, you've no longer got uh, Druger kind of like in your line of fire as a result. Why is it doing that? There we go. All right, and then I'm gonna do Scorching Ray. Okie dokie. Oh, I need to target them. Yeah, Wait, it does help. Is it the same it. as as Eldritch Blast where I target after I cast? No, you. Uh, I think you have to target first for Scorching Ray. Okay, because I got three rays. Okay. So do I target all three that I want to hit? Uh, sure. Okay. Or target one, fire, target one, fire, target one, fire. I think that's the way it works. Uh, okay. I'm getting confused, but all right. Um, let's see. Wait a minute. Do you? I don't see scorching ray on your sword on your spell list. It's my second level. Oh, okay. Oh, you're going for you're going for the big bads. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. All right. And and if if it turns out because we've never used this spell before, <laughs> if, if the game wants to do it slightly differently, don't worry. We'll fix it. Make sure that you uh you roll with an Target. advantage. Roll with an advantage. Yeah. And Flaming bleem, beam comes out of your hand. Bleem. Wait, is she? Okay. What? what? How many? Oh, she. Sorry. Never mind. Yeah, scorching ray. She gets three. She can hit uh, up to three targets. So she has. Three no, rays. she gets four targets because she's a warlock. It doesn't she's say automatically that. Automatically upcast to fifth level. But I cast it in a second level slot. Really. Interesting. It doesn't say that in the in the information here, but you, you, yeah, okay. it says that it, at any time that I it cast a second level spell, but it's 
still Would a you, pack yeah, magic slot. That's right, and you're casting it as pack magic, dear. So it does upcast to a to a higher level spell. You can target five people and cast this five times. Okay, yeah. cool. Four times, because four, three. Four times. Four and then times. Plus sorry. One. Yes. <laughs> but make sure when you roll your attack, you want to roll with advantage. You only roll right? regularly. Uh, so you. No, this is damage. Yep. You did do your damage. And then I'm going to target a different guy for the next one. Take damage. And then damage. Ah, not as good. Um, and third one. Damage. That is some serious, uh, seriously good shooting from range, let me tell you. It oh. is. It goes as far as uh, 120 feet. Yeah, that's uh, that's a decent... Remember that it does have a range of 120 feet if you were ever up against something that likes to stay at a very far distance from you. That's always a good thing. Like a dragon. Just putting that out there for the universe. All right. Um, not a red one. What was that? Can't do this. Just not a red one. Yeah, just not a red one. Yeah, I guess it'll just go, ooh, that tickles. Oh! Uh, and you hit on the last one, the guy that everyone has been beating up on. Go ahead and roll your damage, and you hit for 10 points of damage. This poor character here is really looking bad. He is really, really hurting now. Uh, this guy here, not so much. This guy here... I believe that he's uh, he's starting to look a little weir weary too. A little blood splash on him. Not I think lot. you just put it on me. <laughs> oh, I did, I did. Sorry. Oh, God! Yeah, we'll get rid of that for you. Let's do that again. We'll get rid of the blood on you. Put the blood back on him. There we go. And everybody else that you hit... I liked it when it did this automatically, but now i got to do this manually myself. That's okay. All right. Why did they pick the wrong witch to pick on today? Yeah, well, you know, it's usually a bad idea to tick off a warlock. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So, um, thanks for the catch on that. I didn't notice that. It, it should have picked up on that. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, all right. Uh, Ravina, good shooting, Tex. You have uh, lit up several of these characters as a result, and they are now scorched, burned, and toasted. And it is now Damien's turn. Damien, please, sir. Okay. Uh, let's see. My strategies here. It's hard because does. Damien have any long range things? Well, he has a bow, have... and he does have several spells. Yeah, I have several oh, that's spells. True. Um, and I think see. he does have a fire. Which one of you guys has the necklace of fireballs? I think that's I think that's Cauldron now after Damien. Yeah, Cauldron. Yeah, I think that. Cauldron has that. I don't yeah, have it. Yeah, well, after Damien almost blew up the party. Uh, yeah. <laughs> In a hallway. I have. I, each square is five. Each square is five feet, right? And I have. That a, is correct. I have. I think I can run thirty feet. You said you can go up to thirty feet without having to to um, uh, negate your uh, your combat. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's. So you're trying to get to you that rock for a little bit of cover. Uh... There he goes. Trying to get a little bit of cover. You have half cover now, sir. So we'll make sure that we understand that. I'm assuming that you're take trying to take a position there for cover. Is that correct? Yeah, I'm taking a position for cover and to a, a, a cover, a place to cover and attack. So got it. Okay, great. Uh, I'm going to. All right, you have half cover, sir. Here we go. I am going to use my spell book. I'm going to firebolt the person that I've targeted. All righty, go ahead. So you you see Damien. Calling on Eldritch energies as he, as an as a uh, follower of the Eldritch Knights and Order and Brotherhood as he fires off his spell. Oh, did you hit? Nope, you I missed. missed. <laughs> oh, pity. 
So it nice whizzed right past him. Yes, there's just too much cover, and as your your blast, your doesn't have the the intensity of the scorching ray, which is burned through the branches coming from the warlock and smashed directly into the party itself. Yours, unfortunately, deflected off of one of the many branches between you and your target and harmlessly smashed into the ground uh, and was snuffed out as it landed. Uh, you do have a, you, uh, unfortunately, sir, that is, uh, I believe, the end of your attack, unfortunately. So, that firebolt was your last action. Moving on to the next person who can't do anything. Cauldron, uncharacteristically near the end of the list. What did you roll? You're normally way up near like, the top. You and Damien are usually at the top. Maybe eight total? <laughs> da Damien rolled a two. I do remember that. I watched him roll it. it was yeah, my, even with my uh, initiative saving, it still only gave me an eight or a nine. Yeah, I think. I think I rolled a five. Ooh, that's that's a that's a that's a hard day. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, is the rage on that? All right, so should I be able to see any of the enemies? Because I don't see their tokens, and I if I've you can't see the them, ones. yeah, if you can't see them from where you are, let me let me go over to where you are. It's probably because I'm, yeah. You're a little deep Anyways, in, in cover right now, me. so that may have something to do with it, right? So, um, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, I want to use the measure tool. Okay, I should be good, but I'm going to move up anyways. Just so I can see them, hopefully. No, I don't. I still don't see them. Okay. Uh, you just must be at a bad angle because the other folks were able to see them. Let me see. try and see from your 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 point of view. You should be able to make out this guy right here. Can you not see him? No. Okay. If there's no one you can see, if you don't have line of sight on anybody, it's problematic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what do you, do you want to try and do a dash or what do you want to do here to try and get yourself uh, in a I'm... position where you can see someone didn't hear you there i heard i'm um, i then... don't i i'd prefer to stay back and shoot at them with my uh, short bow but <laughs> but if you can't see them that's there's a slight flaw in that theory right uh well why don't you hold your action then to see what happens just a suggestion sure, that sounds like an excellent idea yeah Since not to metagame sneak attack but... can be triggered yes i don't i don't think i can get sneak attack unless well it'll be difficult to, at this uh, distance yeah. yeah you know i mean you well i would try. have disadvantage i looked at the short range and long range of my bow okay anyways i'll hold my action to shoot at somebody if they come out got it okay all right and I believe that is the end of round one. We are now in round two. All right. Druger, the dumb fire weapon that he is, continues running towards the enemy. Two, three, four, five, six. And you see him now penetrating the, the bush as he's got hue over his head and he's howling like a, like a madman. Ruger, your turn, sir. 
Oh, I was expecting Jury to actually hit someone. Well, he why. wasn't exactly I don't sure. Know why I he... always expect that. Well, he kind of <laughs> like he had he fell into the same problem that uh, that Cauldron did. Was he got towards the bush, he lost sight of them. So yeah, was, I'm going to was... take a position, partial cover behind this rock, and uh, use the owl to kind of sight them for me. Okay. And shoot the Drayok again, but I can't actually see him from this character. Gotcha. Can you, okay. Can you target him for me? The Drayok? Yeah. Got it. Okay, he is targeted through your uh, line of sight with the owl. Okay. I'll uh, pay my disrespects. All right. This time it's a regular attack. There is no longer advantage. They're no longer surprised. Oh, sorry. I rolled with advantage. I need to re-roll. Sorry. Yep. So roll that attack again. Sorry. It's all right. I get it. Finger slip. And unfortunately, and... even with the, there's just too much cover, too much foliage in the way, deflected, yep. uh, deflected your your blow. Unfortunately, second attack also missed. Ugh. Okay. That's well, okay. Also, my, do, my, bear my in mind, purpose... just like you guys, they have partial cover, and that's part right. of the reason why you're having trouble hitting them. Yeah, my purpose is actually to draw them out, not to. Nope. Understood. Fight uh, them in there. Nope. It makes perfect sense. So uh, I'm going to make sure that the cover is now applied appropriately because with Ruger getting closer, uh, they don't have the three-quarter cover anymore. They only have half cover because he is now able to see them much more clearly. All right. There we go. All right. Uh, moving right along. This character is like, my mama didn't raise no stupid kids, and starts to beat feet. Wait, the, the Rayok is running away? Like, hauling ass. <laughs> All right, this character here sees our good buddy here, who also has partial cover. He also has half cover. And first of all, casts Shield of Faith on himself. I think I just cast that accidentally on... No, good, I cast it on myself. I thought I was like, if I cast that on on Druger, I'm going to be very upset with myself. <laughs> All right. Uh, but he does cast Spiritual Weapon. Suddenly, a large scimitar flies through the air and attacks our good buddy here. Actually, it's a large dagger. Oh, I need to make this public. And it is a critical miss, but it doesn't... There's no way to fumble it because it is a spiritual weapon, not a physical weapon. So there's nothing he can do to accidentally hurt himself. All right. Uh, and that's it. That's all he can do this turn. Moving on. Spiritual damage. Spiritual damage. All right. Uh, between the two of them, there is no, uh, there is no, this is going to be hard to do. How do I do it this way? Okay. To toggle the well, effect that's off. Pretty hard if he dropped his spiritual weapon. Yeah, I mean, how do you? How does that happen, right? Uh, <laughs> so between Price the two of them, emotional right? damage. Yeah, I, I've been spending way too much time on TikTok. I know exactly who that guy is. All right, so the wolf 
lunges at our good friend and attacks now because he has pack tactics. Okay. Nope. No advantage there, but the pack tactics. But he does try to bite. And he strikes with a 15, but because of the kind of... There's no way that there would be a strength saving throw. A, oh, but he has to make a saving throw or be yanked prone. So that's what that's all about. So let's go take a look and see whether or not Druger gets knocked down. He needs to make a DC saving throw of 11 with his strength of 20. I think he's got it covered. He barely makes it. <laughs> he barely makes it. <laughs> so you hear Druger yelling and swearing and dwarvish as this wolf clamps down on his forearm and they start tussling around inside of the bushes from what you can hear. All right, moving on to the next person in combat. The Orc Bold falls back to maintain partial cover. He targets Druger. In this case, Druger actually still does have partial cover. All right, targets him and fires with his light crossbow. And he misses with his shot. I don't believe he gets... Oh, he should have had an advantage on that attack. So the first one was a 13. Let's try with the second one. Because he does have pack tactics. But the neither one of them hit. So, no fear there. Shot goes goes wide and does not hit... Moving on to the next person in combat. This gentleman, and I use the term loosely, who has had no damage thus far, decides that it is time for him and Druger to get better acquainted. He targets him. And pulls out his javelin. And because where they are, they're not going to have partial cover on each other. Because there's relative to where they are, there wouldn't be any. Here we go. Javelin. First javelin attack. Hits Druger. Hits for six points of damage. And his second attack. Also hits. And hits for another five points of damage. Ooh. So Druger is now finding himself fully engaged in, uh, in his close proximity there. Mr. Owl. Mr. Can owl. owl. Can the owl still see the gray orc that ran away? Not from where he is. He'd okay. have to try and chase him. Well, I'm trying to click on him, but for some reason I'm not. Do you want me to chase, him. chase after him? No, I want you to show me the owl so I can click on him so I can see who I can see. Oh, there thanks. I don't know why I, I click on him. I can't view the screen through him. Uh, it's kind of like um, left click drag like around the tree area. It should like change their line of sight to the owl. Because like even I can thank see you. it. Let me do that. Yeah. I'll put right, you thanks. on top of the owl for a split second. 
Okay, so I have a pretty good line of sight on this guy. Where's the other Dreok, though? He kind of well, he's beating feet. Through, yeah, he's beating feet through the, through the forest, and you just don't have line of sight on him right now. No, Not from where you are. Okay, I'm gonna. I think the owl's gonna do a a bolt. What was it called? Bolt of planar, planar lightning. Planar lightning okay. at the other spellcaster. Last thing we need is him healing people in the middle of battle. All right, one second here. Let me make sure he's got that in his inventory. I don't think this in, this version of him does. So let me make sure we get that to him. In whose inventory? Oh. Do you see the do you see the spell in his inventory? My inventory? Yeah. Okay. All right, let him have it. All right. Cast your attack. Oof. Solid hit. Solid hit on the cult fanatic. That is brutal. Let me see if he can maintain his... Oh, that was the wrong person that had to do the... Yeah, I can see the wrong person doing the saving throw. Wisdom. Oh, no, Constitution, sorry. Saving throw. Normal. Ten or better. He manages to keep his spell going. All right. So he manages to maintain concentration, but takes a brutal, brutal shot of planar lightning from your owl moving you back where you were behind the rock Elrin okay um don't I'm gonna get closer wait I can't see. You are using your distance meter? Yeah, well, I'm figuring out where I can go. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to post up behind Damien. And I'm going to get this guy right here with sacred. Well, uh, uh, yeah, let's do Sacred Flame. Alrighty, here comes the spell. <laughs> sacred said... Flame. Every time someone says that, I keep thinking of the old Bengals tune. Alright. Oh, who? Cool. Your blow, your, if it hits, it hits four point, sorry, four point damage. Who did you shoot at that this oh wait you can't see me that guy right there okay make a saving throw uh he needs to get a 14 or better here we go and he rolls a 16 he sidesteps and the and the wound does not happen as the bullet as the Bolt bounces off some of the tree limbs, and he manages to successfully evade being burned. And just as that happens, the ground opens up behind you, Ruger. And you are now no longer with cover. You are actually flanked. Doesn't there have to be someone on the other side of me to be flanked? Uh, well, he's up behind you. I guess he's not flanked, but you don't have cover. That's correct. Right, right. But, all right. He targets you, comes up. This whitish, bluish snake sud uh, lizard comes popping up out of the ground. There's a little rumble behind you. The ground opens up, and this drake bounces out of the ground, snarling and snapping at you as it comes forward. 
and it tries to bite you. Since there's somebody out of the trees, can I shoot that drake? <laughs> you you yes. can. Oh, but he misses horribly. He misses horribly with his attack. You hear the ground rumbling, and at the last second, you manage to lean back as his teeth chomp in the air and clack together, saliva spraying on you, but he bites nothing but open air. Uh, you've oh, been holding your just... action, uh, Cauldron. Mm -hmm. Well, you were holding your action. Do you want to go ahead and target this snarling beast? I do. There you go. Yeah, you just made a big mistake, pal. But go ahead, make some more mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> And since he's standing next to um, Ruger, guess what that means? That means this is a sneak attack. <laughs> and not only did you hit, oh, you that's... hit and did vicious, vicious damage. Is the oh bolt, the arrow not only that's goes directly into insane. the spine, it disappears completely down to the fletchings into this creature as it lets out with a vicious scream and you notice that it is bleeding profusely and snapping and snarling as the as your short bow your short bow arrow disappears underneath its scales down into its internal organs very good shot The Dreok here rushes forward to get to our good friend Druger. And he takes a big deep breath in and breathes out. All right. He does 10 points of damage if Druger does not save versus his constitution. <clears throat> Which I'm thinking probably not a problem. All right. His attributes constitution is extremely high. Saving throw because he's wearing that marvelous amulet. But he just makes it just makes the saving throw no yes yes he does just makes it so the blast of cold air washes over druger and he goes oh <laughs> oh stop it tickles which the creature clearly is not amused by so brings its javelin down with a vicious thump on top of his head. To which Druger just simply sidesteps as it crashes through the branches and does absolutely no harm. And he starts laughing at the white Dreok, just absolutely okay. incensing it. Ravina, your turn. Yes, yes. I love how I was advised to stay under cover, and now everyone is out in the open. <laughs> now everyone's standing out um, in the open. Six. So it's a free for all. Uh, so how's this guy doing here? How's which guy doing where? Oh, uh, this one. Oh, the the the, 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 uh, the lizard thingy. Yeah, how's uh, he he's doing? He's not. He's not doing good. He's, he's I think really, he could stand to take a few more hits, personally. I, I think he could probably, he would he would not like it, but uh, I don't think his his uh, appreciation of your actions is really what's driving your, mo or made, motivating you at the moment. Never. Um, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to do Eldritch Blast, and because I think I get three, right? You no. do. Two. I get two. Uh, two, that's right. Two? Okay. I'll, yeah, it's you, you, you do fair. the math. Don't ask the DM to do the math every time. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm busy trying to keep everything else straight in my head. <laughs> right. So I have him targeted. Normal. There we go. Oh, solid oh, shot. Oh, are you? Oh, my gosh. I almost got a 
funny though. Okay. All right, but you did manage to hit. And you do oh, eight you points of damage. Hey, it's still eight points of damage, so don't. Uh, don't Unless knock he's it. dead, it's not a win. All right. Unless he's dead, it's not a win. All right. Go ahead and let him have it again. <laughs> wow. Gotta love the. Gotta love the motivation. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ravina <laughs> always plays in character. Yes, she does indeed. Uh, second okay. one hits solidly. Go ahead and roll your damage. Right. I suppose it's oh! wrong. Ooh. That one was be really hard. Ouch. This thing you know, is really, really, really not liking life right now. He's still alive? Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Very much I so. I just did what? I just did 20, wait, 24? Yes. So just bear in mind, probably a badass character. Yeah. That's, mm. a, that's a small dragon you're beating up on and well so are we <laughs> dun, dun, dun. okay i know i'm team cauldron but I, even I feel a little bit of pity. Dragon. good morning <laughs> all right damien what would you like to do sir there is a dragon ish thing trying to bite your friend directly next to you just pointing that uh, out. Yeah, maybe go for the thing that's right in front of you. I don't know. Just say, gonna... <laughs> anything, I'll, I'll attack. I'll target this Lost. one and. Uh... Lost you Actually, there, Kenji. Lost your audio. Druger yeah, could use well, some I'll help too. I'll so that. Um, let's not forget. I guess I will. Oh yeah, Druger needs healing. I, 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 I guess I'll run up to it and I'll attack I, it. I shall do that. Yep, it's one step. <laughs> And then, and then, boom! You don't have anything that uh, you don't have a pole arm, so you can't hit ten feet away. You have to get within five feet. So you are. Yo, now... next spell idea: pole arm. What was that? That's a good spell idea: pole arm. There you go. <laughs> Someone's in the tequila already. Here we go. All right, let her rip with no. your sword, sir. Talon. Does rigatoni. That's made from tequila. And you miss with your first attack, sir. Your first blade goes wide. The the, the wily on, creature. Man. The wily creature sees you coming in and dodges to the right and dodges to the left and dips underneath your blade as you try and strike. Uh, with your second attack, you you try and strike again. And this time you hit. You squarely smack the creature, so go ahead and give your damage, sir. And your damage is 11 points of damage. As it dodges to the left from your first shot, you quickly swing to the right, and it dodges directly into the blade. Ooh. And as it does, you go squarely through the side of its head, and it drops to the ground. Are you kidding me? Dead. He's the one that gets to kill him. <laughs> Sorry. Are you me? Me? I've got the dragon slayer sword. <laughs> okay, we have to start to calling <laughs> uh, But now that you have so you know generously stepped out of cover, uh, right? you. You've uh, attracted the attention of uh, one of the creatures on the other side of the room, who is now targeting you. Who? Where is he? And he strikes you all of a sudden, as you just as you're sitting there going "ha ha" as you kill the ice drake. All of a sudden, it says I can react to it. Twang. You it says I can react to it using either shield or warcaster. Yes, you can. You can throw up shield. I guess I could. I'll do it then. All right. <laughs> throw up shield. All right. Uh, you throw up an invisible barrier of magical force that protects you. And as a result... Uh... You got plus five on your armor class. Correct. Yeah, look at it. And I know, right? <laughs> it's like A, but only for a round. Yes, it only lasts for one round, and then it will not be there. So at the beginning of the next round, you will no longer have... At the beginning of your next turn, 
you will no longer have that. So, which honestly is actually pretty good in this case because, like, you and Drew Girl are the only ones are spikes right now. All right, Cauldron, the one target you could easily see. I don't know if you can anymore. Oh, uh, I could see these two: the wolf and the uh... the blue skin guy. Oh, this, this this guy isn't dead either. Yep, those three that are they're squaring off with Druger are um, are are kind of hunky and Dory. Come on. There you go. Are you using a tablet? No, I'm okay. using a laptop. Got it. I'm going to target this one, and. Uh, cunning action, steady aim to give me advantage. Mm. A short bro uh, has run out of designated ammunition. So who is Ink Master? It what? Who is Ink Master? Ink Master. I don't know, but I got some, I got some bows. Oh, I mean, that's, I that's Leo. That's yes. my brother. He, he was he was chatting for the first time, so we were getting. Oh. We, we lost us. We we had some very bad connection there for a few minutes. So hopefully we haven't we haven't totally screwed up our connection. We'll find out. All right. Cauldron, do you need bows? I mean, I got oh, bows. Have any more arrows? I thought I had. I mean, some, arrows. I guess I. Ah, no one thought to rearm. No, I charges nine out of twenty, but still z zero. Hold on, hold on. Ba -ba -ba. Well, you're trying to use the the short bow, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it says you don't have any arrows, but. Uh, oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna say. Um, arrows. <laughs> uh. As far as I'm concerned, you guys would have re you guys would have stocked up before you left. So yeah. let's 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 fix that little problem because um that would that's just Cauldron, embarrassing. The person would realize, hey, I don't have any arrows. Yes. God yeah. is being nice to us. Yeah, <laughs> I, some yeah, I think you would have noticed that and someone would have said something. So uh let's let's just get that out of somebody else's inventory and drop it into yours here in just a quick second. I can fix that for you. Um just a quick question. Do I have Angelina's weapons and stuff, or does that like go with her? Yes. Uh you have her weapons. Oh, okay. But you don't um Actually, no. You, I think we already established that you you do. Don't uh, I do? Yeah, you do. Okay. So let me just uh, cool. fix something here for description. This was twenty. Um. All right. Um. So, damn. By the way, I'm probably gonna head out in the next five minutes or so. You got. Just want to give a heads up. All right. Yep. So Cauldron, you should have arrows now. Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see what it is. Yeah, it wants to see them here. Cuz we update cuz they changed the way that they do this now. This is where they put the amounts in. Is here. All right. Go ahead and let fly. Uh this person. Gotcha. Oh, attack. <laughs> Oh, nice there shot. Very nice shot. All right, roll your damage. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> With an Did arrow. Cauldron, Cauldron With... is just straight up making kebabs. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's like Legolas is sitting off in Mirkwood going, no, just no. That still only counts as one. <laughs> Legolas, somewhere in the distance, Legolas is crying and shaking and throwing up and sliding against a wall. Oh my goodness! So yeah, that uh, that really did hurt. Uh, so uh, uh, he's. Uh, oops, sorry. That I did that on you. That I didn't mean to do that to you. You're fine. 
Uh, but uh, I didn't hit myself with my own arrow. No, although uh, no, that's me when I'm playing. Uh, but yes, you. Uh, How do you shoot a... yourself with your own arrow? Just out of curiosity, does that thing like boomerang back to you like a U-turn or something? No, it usually means that you like literally I, uh, ran it through your dodge hand. That? <laughs> what was that? But I uncanny dodge that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's some that's some like Tom and Jerry shit right there. Uh yeah, that's true. You hit the rock, it comes back and strikes you. It's like, oh come on. All right. So uh was that let me st- that's help my me turn. understand. Yeah, bonus action but... action. That's my turn. Cool. All right. Wow. Good uh good shot there. So you uh you definitely have uh, upset this creature that you have shot. Uh However, the gentleman, and I use the term extremely loosely here, who has not been touched at all, starts to charge forward. Two, three, four, five. And he targets Druger. All right. Just a moment. And he pulls out his axe. You see, he's aggressive. Okay, cool. All right. So he targets Druger and attacks with his great axe. And misses at point blank range. There's just too many brushes. There's too many branches to get a good swing going, and he misses. So he tries with his with with the backswing, as he tries to hit the wily dwarf. And this time, oh, hits hard, hard. And manages to smack our lovely dwarf for five points of damage. So as Druger tries to dodge the second one, he gets caught up in the branches and can't completely get out of the way. And you see the blade strike him across the top of the right thigh. And blood starting to ease out through the leather parts of his uh, of his um, uh, his armored uh, jerkin there. So, yes... Not great for our wily dwarf. We are now into the third round of combat, and that means Druger gets to return the favor. Druger decides to use one of his features. He is going to use one of his superiority dice so that he can do a a sweeping attack and in so doing he gets to strike one of the characters next with a anyone within five feet I believe or just one other creature all right So he'll do this guy and this guy. So he's targeting the two on this side here and here. He's targeting this guy first. With Hugh. And he hits... Since he is slashing, this will be slashing damage. He does 15 points of damage to the first, to the Orc Bold leader, which is directly in front of him. And his follow through does a 1d8 to the Dreok, which is 4 points of damage to the Dreok. So the Dreok is now sitting with very few points left. He is definitely, definitely hurting. But 
but that was only his first strike. And so... He decides to do it again, striking with his sword, pardon me, with Hugh against the Dre the Orc Bold leader. And he hits, oh, for another 16 points of damage. You see Dr Druger's blade, the, the magical wooden sword, uh, axe disappearing into the guts of the orc bold leader and coming out the other side so quickly you thought that he missed but then there's a minute while it pauses looks down his entrails land in front of him and he drops to his knees suddenly quite dead boom and he drops to the ground in front of him Using his follow through, he gets to strike the orc, the uh, Dreok, for 1d8 worth of damage on his roll. He gets another three points of damage. The D white Dreok is now in extremely bad shape and is now starting to stumble, and you see him wavering on his feet. And that is the end of Druger's turn ruger your turn sir okay i'll rush take on the dreok that dreok can as you get closer you realize he is in an extremely bad shape he looks like oh. you, you won't well, need much to put him down but it's a mercy killing okay there we go and you're all about mercy i am <laughs> let's help him out are, oh! Oh, no! Uh, yeah, that hits. Uh, go ahead. Um, yeah, no, don't even bother rolling the da the dragon damage. Uh, your blade goes straight through the neck. The head pops off like a crystal cork. And the creature lands on the ground extraordinarily dead. Yeah, I'll try to use the rest of my movement to close in on the other fellow. And uh, use there's my second uh, this guy here or the wolf? The Whoever's next to me. Okay. That and is that is a wolf. Use my second attack on that All guy. Right. Target him up. Do I do I just press the attack button up here or do I have to roll like press the No, you, the can, just, you can just use the attack button. That's fine. Okay. All right, there you Let's go. Let's see if I can get him to. Nope. Oh, but unfortunately, as you try and swing, it, your blade gets caught up in the branches and you're not able to follow through and the wolf slips to one side before you can strike him. All right. And this creature has run away. <sighs> as he's gone. All right. What would he do? All right. One, two. I need to. Okay, that's you. All right. I mean, make sure I'm targeting the right person. All right, he runs up towards you, and you see, you hear this whispering sound out of the, your left ear through your helmet. It almost sounds like the hissing of a snake. And as, it, as you hear it, you feel this icy cold hand grab you on the arm and <laughs> inflict, inflict yeah. wounds has been... Has Too bad been, it's... yep, uh, has been placed, has been struck upon you, and you take 15 points of necrotic damage. But are you immune to necrotic damage? I think I have resistance. I don't think it's an immunity. Okay, uh, if it's a resistance, then you only take half damage. So there's no like saving throw to inflict wounds. 
No, there's not. It, oh. When you when someone, it's one of those spells that if they can touch you, you take it. Well, actually, make a melee spell attack against a creature you can reach on a hit. So he has to make a melee spell attack. For whatever reason, it only gave me the, the damage. The damage will be 15 if he manages to do it, but he does need to be able to hit you. So that is a just a regular uh, attack, essentially, by hand. So that would be the same as it would be with the dagger. And he misses. So there is no damage. He misses with that spell. Need to fix that. That's supposed to ask us to attack first. How come I can't see him? Um, he's r because he's just in a thick part of the woods. I can see what you're seeing right now. Mm. I see what you're saying. He's just in a really thick part of the woods, so he can see you. And he tried to reach through the branches to grab you, and because the branches were so thick, he couldn't get a good grip on you. So the spell was pointless. You can All you can really see is this kind of like this hand sticking out. Oh, and by the way, he's also using a spell to make him harder to see, which doesn't help. Ah. Uh, okay. I'm just wondering if I can attack him next turn. Or this uh, turn. You would have to get... Uh, you'd have to get visibility on him, and right now with where he's at between the spell that he's using and the cover, you, you can't see him. You know he's there, so if you want to like right. blindly try and you know if you want to try and blindly you know swing into that area by all means, but you do have a completely well, viable set of targets in front of you. I have yeah, I also have blind sense. I don't know if that helps or not. Blind sense is more for invisibility, spell. and this is more for right. the cover. Okay. Alrighty, um, I gotta head out. Alright. Alrighty, hon. with y'all. Thank you so much, DM. And good luck, guys. Don't die. Um, can I just tell Elrin what I was gonna do for the next turn? If it doesn't work out, it's fine. But I was gonna move to here, right here, behind the rock, so I'm still covered. And then, uh, Eldritch, blast Eldritch blasting this guy. You got it. All right. Now, good luck, yep. everybody. Thanks. Good Bobby. luck on good luck on your paper. Thank you. <laughs> so, Bye. actually, uh, uh, Paladin, I I take that back. That was my mistake. You actually could, because hidden hidden creatures do count, and this is more this is more hidden, because he's using cover and his his blur factor to make it hard for him to see. So, uh you can see him. So I can target him for you if you'd like, and you can go ahead and swing at him. Hey, do I get a swing like an opportunity attack, or are you talking next turn? Uh, when, in Your next turn, because that's right. It's not, your, it's not your attack right now. I'm sorry. Okay. No problem. Okay. All right. <laughs> but the wolf that is sitting now sees you coming in, and will he go after you or will he go after Druger? Well, you're the one that came up, so he's gonna. You caught his attention now. He's he's a dumb creature, so he's gonna go ahead and try to bite you. All right, bite coming in. Oh, and he hits. For six points of damage, and sir, you need to make a DC saving throw of 11 points or he can drag you to the ground. The so roll D d20? Uh, D20, you need, to, and it's this is a saving throw against your, your strength. So that is seven plus your strength bonus. What's your strength bonus there, big guy? 18. That's my strength. Right. So it's plus four, which is 11. So you were able to stay standing. You were not knocked prone. Excellent. So, but you did take the damage. You did take six points of damage from the bite. Okay. And I don't believe he has multi-attack. Multi and he does not. All right. Moving on to the next person. 
All right. This guy hops up on the rock, around this side of the rock to get a better view. Wait, He's... there's two of those guys? Yes, there was one on the other side of the rock over here, but ah. your, your owl couldn't see him. All right. Pulls back on his bow. And he misses. Too bad. So sad. That shot goes whizzing into the air, but bounces off one of the branches and misses you. However, this character targets our friendly neighborhood dwarf, and this time decides he's not going to mess around, and he pulls out the great axe. And he's going to use his brute factor. And if he hits, he does one extra die damage with his melee attack. Here we go. Great axe coming in. Boom. And hits. Five points of damage delivered to our good friend. And the second attack comes down. Second hack blasts through the trees and hits him again. Boy, this guy's rolling well. It's oh! taking a beating. What was that? Druger's taking a beating. Yeah, Druger's not looking too good right now. Druger's looking a little haggard, guys. He's down to waiting. 22 hit points. I, I'm waiting my turn. <laughs> Medic! <laughs> Medic! <laughs> All right, the owl. Mr. Owl, you've been waiting patiently in your perch. Okay, I can't really see what the owl can see, but there's a guy back here by the rock who's shooting arrows at us. Yes, He'll, he'll target that guy. Targeted, sir. Uh, let's see if I can do anything more than... Well, I guess I have two bolt attacks. He does sir. have partial cover on you. Oh. Uh, but fortunately, only partial cover because he is behind the rock, but part of him is exposed. Well, I'll do a fire bolt at him. All right. Uh, why did it says you were targeting the wolf? Uh, but that's okay because let's see, the roll was an I, eighteen. Let me take a look. Sorry, I can't see what the owl can see, right. so I can't see that guy. All right, My you managed to hit targeting with the, the wolf. It's all right. Uh, go ahead and roll the uh, roll the damage. Okay. And that would be three points of damage. All right, I will put the three points of damage on this creature. All right, you manage to singe the face of the orc bolt. It bounces off the top of the rock and smashes him in the side of the face, and you hear a sizzling sound as it strikes him. All right, Elrin. All righty. Job Drew. opportunity. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, let me see. I don't want to get too close to anybody. So some sort of ranged. Uh, one, two, to touch three, him that one. four, five. You could get to him without having to run. Uh, uh, but I don't. I don't want to go over there. Could you right? get to him without running and still be in the cover? She would Next be completely. One? She would be completely exposed. So She'd be on the outside. No, the space it's to the not, left is not available. That I don't think she could make it that far. She could make it. Yeah. Either. I got feeling worse. Here we go. I'm just doing it. Here. All right. Bing bong. Incoming. 
And you manage to heal him for seven points. He'll take it. That Very seven nice. points he did not have. That could make the difference between life and death for our faithful friend. Uh, are you going to move at all, or are you going to stay there? Uh, I'm staying here. <laughs> okay. But you might want to move up and take cover. Yeah, because oh, right yeah. now you're in the yeah. open. I'll go over here. Whee! Right here. <laughs> you're going to run that far away? Uh, you can't move oh, that wait. far. You can't move that oh, far wait. away. How about wait, just wait. the rock next to you? There's a rock oh. right here. Oh, yep, yeah, you're right. Or the other rock. Any there rock. Pick a rock. There are plenty of rocks. <laughs> All right. So now you've got cover. It's half cover. All right. Thank you. You are very welcome. Ravina. it is her turn now. The hovering death angel. Sounds okay. Funny. She wanted to come over. He actually... She said she wanted to move over here to do Eldritch Blast. Oh, wait, no, I understand why she is. She's, She's moving over here. This guy and well, Eldritch Blast. That's not the one with multiple targets, is it? Uh, she gets uh, two bl two beams. That's two separate, two separate attacks, right? She can target the same target, or she can pick two targets. Great, then we're going to pick two targets. Why not? You like. Okay, but you have to attack one and then the other. That's the way it works. That's it, that's what it. I was. Yeah, you roll okay, it as two, two I, separate attacks. There you that's go. That's what I just asked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, great. Sure. Thanks. Uh... All right, let fly with the Eldritch Blast. The greenish energy flashes across and. You see it blast through the tree and strikes for 14 nice. points of agonizing damage. You hear it howl as the eldritch dark energies penetrate its skeleton, inducing nice. pain. Your second attack, would you like to target a different target or you going to target the same? Well, it's the one next to him. All right. And you hit the wolf that is standing in front of Ruger and you hit him for seven points. Oh. And as you strike him, you hear it howl out in agony and drop to the ground motionless, dead, as you killed the wolf. Damien, you uh, are no longer, now that you are where you are, shield is now dropped, sir. I'm trying to think. Uh... We got one more here, right? Okay. Yep. They, there you have one here. You have one here. And you've got two back here. One. All right, that's six. All right, magic missile. Oh, unfortunately it misses. You have two more darts you can throw, sir. And that one hits solidly. Roll your damage. It hits for four points of damage. The orc bold is starting to look in bad shape. He is definitely bloodied. Is the energy shoots through the branches and hits the creature squarely in the breastplate. You have one more dart that you may throw, sir. And 
And unfortunately, the last one goes awry, striking off, <laughs> hits one of the branches, and flies up into the air harmlessly, missing the Orc Bold leader. And that, sir, is the end of your turn. Unless you want to take uh, Action Surge. Uh, I don't think it's critical just yet. I don't think I'll, All right. I'll hold on. Cool. All right. One, two. All right. Ruger, you see the creature has now a creature crashes through the bushes next to you. Screaming in an incoherent language, you see it wielding a great axe as it swings down at you, howling and cursing. But it misses as it tries to strike you as blade bouncing off the branches of the of the heavy bush that you're in as neither one of you are able to squarely land on the other but you can hear its curses and smell its putrid breath it's so close to you cauldron amateur hour amateur hour <laughs> <laughs> cauldron it is your turn Jeez, this is a long combat guys i need a bio break so at the end of this round we're taking a break Alrighty. Uh, shoot this guy. Uh, steady action, cunning, aim. Ooh. And reverse those. Reverse those words. <laughs> cunning action. Steady, steady aim. aim. <laughs> cunning action. I knew what you meant. That was funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. All right, here we go. Oh no, I get advantage on that. Yes. But so I roll again. Mind if I just? There you go. Oh no! Oh no! But the, you would have had advantage, yeah. so it would have been just the miss, not the yeah. critical miss. Okay. All right. Uh, sorry, but you didn't get them. Uh, real yep, shame. That's fine. Would have been nice to see. I mean, it was. You just, you know, more shish kebab for for the for folks around the barbecue. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. So. Uh, that is the end of this round. My gosh, gentlemen, ladies, we are in the fourth round of combat. You've never been to the fourth round of combat before. But I don't know about you guys. I need a bio break. So let's take a quick break and we will be right back. Okie dokie. Sounds good.
we go. Everybody's back now. Go go ahead and say hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. There hello. we are. Hi. Hello. All right. Going back. Oh, my God. Into... Are we playing D&D? &D? Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Indeed. All right. So, uh, sorry, but at the end of the... We are now at the beginning of round four of our combat. And uh, let's get back into the action, shall we? And as we get back into it, it is now Ruger's turn. And the dwarf is really, really ticked off. So he targets <coughs> the orc bold leader directly to his left and oops sorry that is the wrong blade that is hue sorry that was a fat finger click on my part he attacks and manages to strike <laughs> sorry didn't mean to go and hit you there ruger i'll i'll back this dang damage off of you once i'm done and he is going to get his versatile wouldn't be the first time ruger's hit me it wouldn't be indeed. So, uh, backing that damage out of you. Oh, he hits for 12 points of damage, and in so doing, he manages to crush the chest of the orc bold leader, and as he lets out a muffled gurgle and falls to the ground, it is no longer a threat to the party and quite dead. That being the case, Druger takes a step forward. And targets. You're targeting he, me again, I think. Nope. Just just undid oh. that. He is okay. targeting uh, the mage that is directly in front of him. And swings down with Hugh. Try that again. It didn't roll. There we are. Oh, but he misses with his other strike as the branches once again protect the bad guys from getting their just desserts. Or main course. Take your pick. All right, Ruger, it is now... Sorry, dad jokes. It is now your turn, sir. You have... Oh. A, by the way, like I said before, you can strike that with your with your uh, blind sense. You can, in fact, detect the creature directly here. You know yeah, he is can you standing target him for me? Because I can't target I him. I have targeted him for you. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to do branding smite on him, so everybody can join in the fun. Everyone can join in the fun. Yes, indeed. All right, here comes Branding Smite. Well, first you have to hit him, so strike right. him with your with your weapon. Says you must target a token. I don't think I'm targeted. Right. Then let's do this because of, let me put him there. Now you definitely can see him. Go ahead and target. Okay. All right. The silver long sword plus one. And do you strike? Roll your. Now you're going to do branding smite, but roll your. Do you want to roll your damage first? Sure. All right, roll your damage. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. By the way, he's no longer concentrating because, uh, yeah, he's dead. Uh, so oh, okay. you, uh, you hit him, and there's this huge explosion of. Uh, blood as uh, he's now no longer a concern as he splatters uh, oh. across the uh, across the forest floor. Now, now, just out of curiosity, was it blurry blood that came out? It was very blurry blood. Oddly <laughs> enough, oddly enough, interesting. It was very, it was very blurry blood. You okay, still I'll have try. one attack left, and there is an orc bold hiding in the bush next to you, sir. I will try him next. And he can have the branding spite the other guy didn't get. There you go. That just seems fair. I thought so. Why waste it? Why indeed. Oh. 
Go ahead and roll your versatile damage because you're using that as a hand and a half sword right now, sir, because you have both hands free. Yes? Yes. Oh, okay, you managed to hit him for six points of slashing damage, and he is now even more bloodied than he was before. You oh, see. no, he's going to get bloodier than that. All right, are you going? Do were you going to hit him with his with your branding smite now? Oh, yes. Here we go. And oh, viciously hits him for another six points of damage. And now you notice that he is. Oops, that's not you that's supposed to have that. Sorry, let me turn that off. Yeah, that was supposed to be on him. So you will turn him this way. So you notice that he is now glowing and burning with holy flame and gleaming as you have struck him with your branding smite. I notice there's no uh, concealment icon underneath me. Is there supposed to be? Concealment? Yeah, you, you, do, have, uh, you do have partial cover. The effect is on. Oh, okay. Yep. I just don't see the little doodad. Okay, let me turn it back on for you no, again. No, that's good. I, I can see it. Okay, I just turned it back on for you. I turned it off and on for you, so you should be able to see it. I think it's because you're on top of another character. You should see it now. What is what is the other thing uh, that you have on? Oh, protection from poison. That's not right. Let me turn that off. There we go. See, I just don't think you could see it because of the car the other token you were standing on top of. Yeah, All probably. Right. All right, moving right along. Uh, that guy's no longer a concern. That guy's dead. And so this one charges forward. Two, three. And targets Druger. Ruger. They're going to try and team up on you, buddy. As he swings down with his great axe on you. Has advantage on attack rolls if there's someone. So I've been rolling these wrong. So this should have been rolled with it with advantage. All these attacks should have been rolled with an advantage, so you've been getting away with murder. All right. And he manages to hit. Sir, you must make a DC 10 saving throw against your constitution to maintain your concentration to keep your branding, sm your uh, uh, searing smite going. And you've taken seven points of damage, and you have failed, so the... Uh, Searing Smite is no longer active on the uh, Orc Bolt. Branding, yes. Branding, sorry. Branding Smite, not Searing Smite. I should have just lit him up rather than making him burning. All right. The Energizing Owl. The Energizer Bunny Owl. Okay. The Owl can... Move a little closer. All right, have him fly down. There you go. Now we, you know, Take there the guy you guys. Behind. All right, and let loose with a bolt of planar lightning. Okay. Oh no! Wait, I don't have any more second level spells. Sorry. Gonna it's say, gonna what? have to be firebolt. All right. I don't know if you've noticed, but. There's been a slight modification to your owl. He actually moves now. I don't know if you've noticed that, but he actually moves. Interesting. Uh, all right, Firebolt. Oh, and it that is a hit. Roll your damage, sir. You notice that the damage doesn't do quite as much as you would have expected, but it still does do damage, and the creature is now howling in agony and looking extremely angry. Well, that was my purpose. It was just to piss him off, you know. Mission accomplished. 
<laughs> Next. <laughs> Elrin. You can hear a bunch of battle and screaming going on in the bushes in front of you. You can kind of make out what's going on through the through the through the branches of the trees. What would you like to do? Yeah, I got a good line of vision. I think um, I'm gonna just finish him off. Um, All right. I'm gonna do a little inflict wounds on this guy. You have to be within touching distance. Oh shoot! Hold on, I got some. I got I got something else. Let me see what I got. I got some something for him. I got some some for him. You just remember, it's it's uh, it's just as Ruger said, it's a mercy killing. It really is at this point. At this point, I'm we're we're tired. At this point, this is this is a chore. <laughs> you could actually run up and reach him. I think. I could. But it's, I could. Uh, but that'd be too much. That that's too much like work. <laughs> that's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm going to kill him from over here. I want to do this Behind at a distance. Oh, oh, hold the on. dead. Well, hold on now. You rolled on. He's already been damaged. That is not 2d8. You are supposed to roll versatile damage because it would be 2d12. So roll oh, 2d12. Oh, can I try again? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Try the 2d12. Just roll the damage. Oh, oh, nice. My God. All right. So you managed Ding to hit dong. for a full 20. But do remember, he does get a chance to save. There's a loud no. bell tolling sound. But let's see if he no. manages to save he against his save. wisdom. He's be like pulverized into a He pulp. needs to do a 14 or better. And he rolls a 10. So you hear this loud bell tolling noise and skulls covered in reddish energy and crackling with the energy of lightning and talos slam into this creature and as you hear its death throes and its pitiful shrieks it dies whimpering within the bushes and that is the end of the orc bold i'm not even gonna bury that guy there's nothing left to bury Right. Yeah. I'm just saying he had it coming. Yeah, well, clearly. Ravina. Um yes, you don't need to be concentrating anymore with that. Let me get rid of that for you. Who's alive? What's that? Who's still alive? What's that? Who is still alive? Uh there is one guy still left. He's right here. Uh, oh yeah, there, he's uh he's right there. Let me get this one out of the way so you can see him. They need to work on that feature. There's a feature that they're supposed to put in the next build that allows you to do that, where you can just push them down so they don't show. All right, so there is one creature still left, and uh, looks, right. it, while bloodied and battered, he's still kicking. Mind sliver. Bing bong. Oh, as the psychic energy flashes through and strikes disorienting spike of psychic energy, uh, the he must make an intelligence saving throw or take 1d6 of psychic damage. What is uh, her ability? I believe hers is a 14. Where is it? Where? Yes, it's a 14. He must make an intelligence roll of 14 or better. And these things are not the smartest creatures in the world. Saving throw of 14. And he rolls a zero. Effectively, oh. effectively a zero. So you would have go ahead and roll let's see you are at fifth level so it is 2d6 please roll 2d6 for me please do you remember how to do that in the dice tray there you go nine points of 
psychic damage. You see the Bound. silvery energy flash striking the arc bolt directly in the skull. You see his eyes begin to crackle and turn white and flash with energy. And it opens its mouth to scream and all that comes out is a poof of smoke as it drops to the ground and its head begins to smolder. And it is now quite Did dead. you just kill off the rest of them? Yes. Wow. I tell you, I don't mess with Ravina. Uh, that's a... No. Nope. Mind Sliver is particularly Ravina and Elrin, yeah. When they decide to you... get together and they want to start hitting people, it gets really ugly really fast. So, gentlemen, ladies, clerics, and warriors... You have managed to dispatch the creatures that were trying to ambush you. The prey, the, the hunters became the prey and fell into your ambush. And as a result, they now lie dismembered, bloodied, beaten, broken on the forest floor. And with that, we will pick up next week. Very well done, ladies and gentlemen. I look yeah. at Druger. I look at Druger and tell him, "Why would you rush into their ambush? Why? <laughs> Why? Because I you... got I get bored waiting at the back. I got the bloody witch behind us. She gets blasting everybody before I can get my hands dirty. I got to have wow. something to do." Uh... All right, folks. Thank you very much. This was fun. This battle was way more hard than I thought it was going to be, but it was so much fun to watch. Uh, you guys did a great job, and it was uh, getting a little nip and tuck there for a while. I thought we might have a problem with the dwarf, but uh, well done. You guys did a great job, and I will see you here same time next week. Thank you so much. This was a lot of fun, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, as always, I will leave the game up for another half an hour or so. If you want to go in, make notes. Uh, if anybody's watching the recordings, uh, and I hope people are, uh, we do have some problems with this recording too. I may have to fix this one before it gets finally posted up. We had a problem at some point. I don't know why. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, please follow us. We'd like to have more tools so we know when people are actually on some other kind of cool things. But yeah. Um, Thank you to uh, our young cousin who jumped on just to kind of wish us well while we were playing. That was very, very kind of him. And uh, anybody else, if you're on, always let us know you're there so we can say hello and thank you for joining. Other than that, folks, see you next week. See ya. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, everybody. It's great to have everyone together. Yeah, it was yeah, indeed. Truly. See you next week. See you next week. All right, guys, I've ended the recording, ended the stream. So, uh, I'll, like I said, I'll leave the game up for another 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to go feed the dog, feed the cat. And uh, if you want to put notes into your journals, please do.